Today we're going to take a look at the Ergo Strip from Nipex. Right, I'm going to pass it over to you to start with, from my right hand to your right hand. And why is that so important, Gordon? Because this is the right-handed version, Gary. Yes, they actually do a left-handed one as well, don't yeah, they? Which we'll come on to. We will come on to that in a moment. What are you going to do first? Let's use it uh, to strip something, shall we? Yeah, I mean, d dead easy. Uh, yeah, I mean, so here's the, a closer look at it yep, there. Okay. Uh, it's closed there. It's got this little catch at the side here. Springs open. Oh, lovely, yeah. So this side here to strip it in the conductors. So we've got everything. Yeah. Marked on there. So that's 0.2 to 4 millimetre squared, yeah? Yeah, that's it. It's got this side ripper here to strip down the, uh, Ooh, I like the sound sheath of, that. of the cable. Right. And then you've got two sized blades at this end for different diameters of cable. So a slightly smaller one there. Okay. And the larger one there. Now, obviously Nipex from Germany. So this is normally designed for obviously German cables. Or ones that a German electrician has to come in front. And the one mentioned on the packaging is NYM, which is a round cable but not one we typically use in uh, in the UK. Right, okay, so yeah, that's so, round, like where we've got our twin and earth, they've got that sort of round looking flex. Yes? Yeah, round twin and earth, yeah, but uh, yeah, we don't get the luxury of using that. So dead easy to use. Uh, so again, uh, oh, another little feature before I go in there. Oh. Obviously this is, that's sprung, I'll just latch that one back in place to get your cable in here, this little, yeah. see that? You could lift it with your finger, but yeah, it just drops in there, don't you? You could lift yeah. it, yeah. Okay, so you're in the smaller end? Yeah, well, okay. all right. And obviously you can push the cable through as well if you want them to remove quite a bit of the outer sheath. Okay, and it'll do diameters from, is it 8 mil to 13 mil diameter cable? Uh, yes, it will, but that's at that end. So we've gone into the uh, right. other end here. Okay. So again, I'm just going to push around there. It's a case of twist. Okay, yeah, and that's scoring round. So I've scored the end, and then I want, because I'm going quite a way down this cable. Yeah, you're going to use that slicing blade, aren't you? Yeah, so just undo my latch. Yeah, something quite satisfying about this, isn't there? So you're latching yeah. that in there, yeah. Just put that in there. And that's just going to run down the cable, yeah? Yeah, i just push that oh, down. Oh, yeah, you cable. can see it split already. Yeah. One and peel it open for me. It's always the last bit I always find is the hardest one. The blade yeah. just tends to run off, doesn't it? Whatever stripping tool you use. And then, obviously, you've got that to, to pull out. Okay. Yeah, we scored it earlier on, so we've made a nice joint there. We haven't gone into any of the no. inner conductors, and we haven't damaged any of them. As you've run it through as we well. through down, so. Hmm, great, isn't it? Yeah, well, I find that quite easy. Now, obviously, the true <laughs> test of a tool and the true, true uh, test of an artisan, <laughs> artisan <laughs> yeah, electrician yeah. Okay, is yeah. uh, perhaps we should give this right-handed tool to a left-handed electrician. Well, now, it takes me back to my youth, that does, because when I started playing golf, my dad went out and looked for a set of clubs and found that the right-handed ones were considerably cheaper in the second-hand market, and I had to learn to play golf right-handed because the clubs were cheaper. And I carried that philosophy on as an adult because I took up a bit of snooker and pool in my uh, <laughs> early 20s, and I made sure I bought a right-handed cue, so I think I'll be all right with that. Yeah, well, let's have a look at that. I've got some left-handed darts I can oh, sell you later okay. on as well. A bit more expensive, though, I know. Okay, so. I do play left-handed darts as yeah. well. So yeah, let's have a look how you got on. So let's put it to work then and see how many of these different types of cables we've got on the bench that I've stripped. So I've started off with a flex that I needed to put into this uh, joint box here in order to liven up one of our rigs. Yeah, so this is a three core uh, PVC flex, one millimeter square conductors. Yeah, great start. Obviously the outer PVC is removed, not damaged the insulation around the conductors. So I've swapped over now. I'm gonna snip them off and start again. So I wanna strip this one back. Okay, so this is a twisted pair. 20 gauge and the American wire gauge, keep our American viewers happy. Okay, get it into my right hand. Okay, and round we go. And again, I could have used the tool to pull it off, but I just like using my hands for that. So I pulled that off and again, no inner insulation damage. Okay, and that was using the smaller end of the ergo strip. So we've got an HR7 RNF cable here, popular on uh, quite heavy duty appliances. Right, okay, I'm gonna be in the larger end this time of the ergo strip, undo the clip. Little top tip for everyone, that's where your thumb sits during the scoring process on this end, not at the far end, okay? So that's your thumb position sits there. Pop in my 1.5 three core cable. Okay, thumb's in the right position. I'm gonna score it round. It's quite rubbery, so obviously you wanna pull it off. So let's go pull it off, and we'll just check and see if I've damaged any of those conductors. Oh, that's nice, oh, yeah, it is, it is quite a stretchy cable. That can be quite difficult to strip. Yeah, but it was easy. Yeah, and again, no damage to the inner conductor insulation. Let's step it up. Let's go and start stripping off the inner conductors. Now, we know we can go from 0.2 to 4 mil, so it's appropriate with slots to choose. 
I'm going to stick with the cable at 1.5, so I'm going to push it now. So here we go. So find the right side, and you want one in gas, come and pop one out. There we go. So, yep, look at that. Yeah, so these can be quite, uh, yeah, quite stretchy on this HR7 so RNF. It's a sort of, it is a rubberized uh, conductor as well. And you notice I haven't damaged any of those very fine stranded copper conductors as well. None of them are on the floor, so that's good. So we're now dropped into the flex. That's so I'm going to go down a size number at one mil. Yep, so again, it's good how. Uh, how these align with the different conductors. So there isn't a one mil itself. So which one did you go for? Here you go. You went for the point eight and just did. Probably, yeah, you didn't press as hard. No, I know. Yeah, a little play around off camera just to, to get used to it. Yeah, there's no problem. So again, you can see I haven't damaged any of the copper strands. So none of them have come off. So it's perfect. All right. Okay. Okay. So back to our twisted pair. So this is that point two gauge. Did you say twenty gauge? American. Oh, right, okay. So that aligns yeah. with a point three uh, cross sectional area. Okay. And then yeah. Again, considering how fine strands they are, no damage to them at all. Yeah. Oh, Ste stepping up. Down up here. So this is um, some FP200 cable, often not as are the names, but used on fire alarms extensively. Got a tough outer jacket on that. That would be great if you had to really get into the back of a box as well to strip it. And again, the inner conductors of these are 2.5. Yeah, Quite so soft anyhow. Yeah, so it's solid yeah. conductors. Yeah, okay, pop those off. Oh, yeah. that's easy. Yeah, it is easy, yep. Okay, there you go. So that one's done. Let's, uh, let's put it to test again, I think, now. So, Ooh. Oh, 25 millimeter squared meter tails. There was something you know, very satisfying about doing this. That was super easy. Again, score round, okay, and then just pull it off. Look at that. Yeah. Your tail ready for terminations. Okay, we're straining into the world of data here now. That's where we uh, upset a lot of people, electricians doing data cables. That got so lots of comments normally, but here we go. Yeah, and you can see how much I passed through the, the Ergo Stripper's body as well. Okay, um, yeah. so I've got a lot longer that time. And I'm yeah. just going to twist these and again, just uh, unlock it. Okay, um, so using the 02 millimeter. It was, yeah, the very yeah. smallest one in it now. Just popping those off and again, no damage whatsoever. So we said the larger end took diameter cables from 8mm to 13mm. The smaller end is it's where it's comfortably suited for your Cat5 to Cat7 cables, that sort of size diameter cables, Gordon. Yeah, the other cable this tool will do actually, Gary, as well, is coax cable. Right. Now, obviously, we upset a lot of data installers when we uh, did some uh, data work on the channel, so we don't want to carry that on and... Um, and uh, upset the uh, TV aerial installing community. But if you are a TV aerial installer or an electrician who has used it to strip coax, perhaps you could drop a comment below and uh, tell us how you get on. And we're always interested in those comments. So have you been using this tool from Nipex, the Ergo Strip? If you have and you love it, tell us in the comments. Is there somebody in the comments struggling maybe to use the tool or for one of the different applications of cables that you're aware of it can strip? Please help them within the community. And we will also try and get back to as many comments as you leave as possible.